We are so close to $20,000, but it seems like that we are going into the correction. And in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you exactly why with the evidences here on the chart. Now, welcome back to Crypto Wealth Channel, guys. In today's video, as I told you, we're going to discuss about the correction that is happening right now, and we will see how long that correction will last how long we're going to go on the downside and also we have some very interesting facts to cover on the charts i truly believe that you want to stay all the way until the end of this video and of course i'm sorry for we are recording on a little bit a uh, bigger resolution i have the biggest wide screen over here so i would like to check out with you how do you like this sort of a resolution to see the whole chart but a little bit black bars on the upside let me know in the comment section down below i would appreciate a lot and now let's begin so the first thing first we're going to cover over here the weekly chart as we can see we just moved from 20 exponential weekly moving average over here and if we count back the weeks where we actually bounced back from 20 weekly exponential moving average you can see over here that it was six bars which means exactly month and a half and it seems like the bitcoin is on some sort of a way screaming on short-term correction and that's pretty much on the daily chart because over here we still have plenty plenty of place to go to the upside because as you can see in this case scenario when we broke that uh, four thousand dollars over here if you remember after getting out from that bear market that we had in 2019 we surged over here almost uh 24 bars weekly bars actually even more uh, before we retested 20 exponential moving average so yes this is possible for the bitcoin to do it again and i do believe that it could be much more extended because we are in after halving effect right now and this is the fun part where we are surging towards twenty thousand dollars hitting the all-time high and even uh, making the new ones that will happen but after only after the correction and now let's jump into some daily chart so if we switch over here on the daily chart as you can see we had some insane rally ladies and gentlemen we didn't retouch 20 exponential moving average this rally is so clean that i cannot believe what is happening and also i need to show you this trajectory over here that we drawn it's on the hourly chart the most probably as you can see and we are seeing some incredible channel we retested resistance of this channel over here already for the two times actually we made it over here and this is the first time we are retesting it and fortunately listen to me very carefully fortunately we are actually declining from the resistance of this channel why is this fortune well this decline represents perfectly good correction for the bitcoin already right now we can measure the correction and we are right now into the six percent of the correction and i wouldn't be scared even if we see 10 percent correction which pretty much means that we are going to retest support of this tunnel most probably what this basically means we're coming back to retest sixteen thousand five hundred dollars approximately which is this line over here that you are seeing this is what the bitcoin i think is trying to do right now this is what we discussed in the previous videos that we are going to see correction and it would be nice to see the sixteen thousand five hundred dollars even so some traders are calling the lower prices like fourteen thousand dollars but i wouldn't like to see those prices so it would be somewhere around here that would be a little bit you know bigger correction we didn't retest fourteen thousand dollars at all even since we broke it over here that would mean for the bitcoin on the one hourly, hourly chart over here this is a little bit smaller scale we can switch to the four hourly so you can see better you can see that that would be something like this what this basically means is that this is the round retest if we do such a round retest then we have some sort of a restart in the bulls so they are gaining more strength and we can push to the upside which means that this area RSI thing over here is going to chill out when it comes to the money flow and let us push to the upside that means that the institutional investors are taking profits and actually buying the dips corrections and pullbacks on the support so the next thing that we will certainly watch over here is this tunnel over here it's pretty much very well drawn over here so we're not going to we're not going to delete it and also as you can see we're retesting right now 20 exponential four hourly average over here and i don't think it's going to last too much that's also some sort of a middle of this tunnel over here but we're not going to watch it too much because i would really like to see retrace towards sixteen thousand five hundred dollars 
and also this would be the round retest after breaking $16,500 that's this area that we discussed in the previous videos or so so also this is the round retest you have two types of retest that's direct retest round retest round retest is something that the Bitcoin is trying to do now and direct retest I think that the Bitcoin already did it over here on the four hourly chart as you can see if you zoom in a little bit that the price actually retested instantly over here almost $16,500 so that's when the next candle or two direct retest that level and then start searching to the upside that's also some sort of a retest but I think that the round retest is doing much better stuff over here now I promised on this channel that we are going to trade what I mean by trade is not by me taking trades and profits and uh, you know bragging over here this basically means that we are going to do the trades and we're going to go through full analysis. Why I entered the trade, why we closed the trade, what went wrong, why we have been stopped out, why we took profits earlier or later or whatever. We're going to go through analysis so you can learn also on this channel and videos why and how to trade, right? This is all also for you to learn. All you need to do is to hit that like and subscribe button. And now let's continue. Now, one new indicator I want to bring you on this chart over here on this channel. Actually, it's not the new indicator, but it is on our channel because we're not using it too much. And that's Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands is actually some sort of a moving average for the Bitcoin or moving average tunnel for the price which is giving us approximately where the price should and will move in that tunnel to the upside downside in the sides and so on and so on i need to explain you something very interesting because bitcoin is respecting it too much and that also could be used for good trades if you're swinging or whatever as you can see over here this tunnel on four hourly chart is made like this i will zoom in just as an example to show you and as you can see you have one of the moving averages over here which is making this tunnel the another is on the downside as a support and you have the middle moving average we're definitely not going to go through this how it's calculated or whatever but we are definitely going to go through the situation how you can trade and how you can see retracement in the Bitcoin price as you can see whenever the Bitcoin was overextended on this uh, moving average or on resistance of that moving average you had some sort of a pullback if if it's not a pullback it's at least a consolidation on the side as you can see over here you had a big push and you have a little bit of consolidation on the on the side then you have a big push then you have a consolidation on the side then you have again you know um, distinction over here over these Bollinger Bands then you have the pullback all the way to this level of support so whenever the Bitcoin uh, price over here went a little bit out of this Bollinger Bands uh, indicator you are seeing the correction and pullback towards the support or at least middle of this tunnel and you can see that we had corrections pretty much every time we retested the resistance and if we back if we go back into the live version over here and zoom in you can see what the Bitcoin did over here we actually retested the tunnel we went out from these Bollinger Bands and you had a immediate correction especially because we were consolidating around this border over here or let's say above these Bollinger Bands for a long period of time this was the signal for correction it was screaming for correction and as you can see with this candle you should already sell your Bitcoin for the profits so you can pull back take the Bitcoin again in the buy option for example over here on the moving average and then let it search to the upside again so you can sell so this is how you should trade on the Bollinger Bands but this is also one of the way how to see the correction and as you can see we went out of it and we also pulled back and we are most probably going to pull back uh, somewhere around near approximately $16,500. Remember that and come back in the next video. We may actually see that. So I want to exclude now Bollinger Bands so you can see better. And one thing that I want to bring you in, in your attention actually is this book over here that I'm uh, learning. I'm sorry, uh, it doesn't have a cover, cover, but that's as you can see over here, Japanese candlestick charting techniques. And I love this book, every single thing that I read from this book, I found on the charts also. So one of the things that I uh, am learning right now actually is those doji candles, which are representing the 
pullbacks they are showing you over here on the charts how to see and notice the pullback with just the candles and as you can see we had one of them we have one of the doji candle and we had of one of engulfing pattern over here so we had pretty much two candles over here screaming for correction and telling us we're going to correct just to let you know but you didn't listen for example and price went uh, down you went long and so on and so on but Nevertheless, you can see the small body over here and the long weeks is telling you the bulls at this very moment are weak and you should be you should be careful when you're trading this. But this week over here represents the resistance. This is why we put it the, the line over here, this tre big trend line. And until that week is not broken, you cannot trade long position if you don't want to be in minus. And as you can see over here, we didn't went over that resistance so we had the engulfing pattern which pretty much means that this next body is engulfing this one over here and you had the big push to the downside so this is one of the reason also why we saw the correction and we discussed in the yesterday's video that we are going to see some sort of a correction and pullback towards the previous supports again is this good for the bitcoin definitely it's very good for the bitcoin is this going to push us much higher yes definitely it will and we also discussed in uh, yesterday's video about altcoins so make sure to check it out now the thing that i wanted to mention is the link trade over here that we did link is still consolidating below this line over here we had some pushes during the evening yesterday over here but unfortunately again decline this line over here this over here we drawn even when we hit the first time over here with with this big engulfing resistance and i uh, instantly knew already over here without watching this because this wasn't uh, even traded over here right uh, we i knew it is going to be big resistance guys i i told you many times in those videos and as you can see we still cannot break this resistance we are still below this some sort of a ascending triangle but we are still in the profits in this trade we are going to see and watch this trade how is it going to the next in the next days or so if the trade and the price starts breaking to the downside if we see some weaknesses even so we are seeing them now we are most probably going to close position so you need to also watch the position once you enter the market if you had a good position you don't want to ruin your good entry point with waiting to be stopped into the uh, stop loss zone because you know you if you don't need to you shouldn't do it because if you already see that you're going towards stop loss pretty heavily and there is pretty much nothing you can do to stop it you know then i think the best thing to do is to cut your losses on time as the book of market wizard says one of the traders said people need to learn to cut their losses and hold for their gainers which pretty much means Cut your losses as fast as you can and let your winners go to the upside. Don't be scared. And one of the good way not to be scared in trading is to not over trade your position. You know, don't put a lot of money in trade if you're not feeling comfortable with and you're going to most probably, most probably succeed in that trade because you're going to feel very well when you're trading some asset, right? Now, very interesting article over here. Very, very quickly, Bitcoin mining revenue hits yearly high after return to pre levels if you remember i think five or six videos ago or five or six days ago we discussed about this and i told you that because of those levels now bitcoin is double as profitable as we were pre-halvening uh, situation when we had 12.5 bitcoins after mining so this is very important even so right now we are seeing 6.25 bitcoins per 10 minutes for the miners they are still profitable like they have 12.5 bitcoins on these same prices which means when the halving took place in mid-may as it says over here btc prices were around nine thousand dollars on november 18th they had doubled to eighteen thousand dollars which suggests correlation as miners need to sell enough of the asset to cover their expenses while remaining in profit higher prices mean 
greater profits. So this is the pure math in the Bitcoin over here. Now, right now, something that we discussed in on this channel many months before we are seeing right now after happening effect. And very quickly, one more thing over here to show you BLX chart over here, this tunnel over here, it seems like it's playing out all over again. We are bouncing back from this line, from this correction that we had. We are doing some incredible progress, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, first halving, second halving, and after third halving, we had some consolidation few months. But right now, we are bouncing back over here. This line over here to the upside is very important and very beautiful to see very very well so as long as we are far away from this blue line over here uh, from this you know pattern this support over here we are good to go on the higher levels now i hope you learned a lot on this channel over here on this video i try i'm trying to give you as much information as i can and i can see over here on the charts we're not going to complicate stuff too much because you're just going to hear noise instead of real informations. Also, I need to mention over here our channel, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, please. If you like, only if you like this sort of a content. And also this video, it seems like it went pretty well yesterday. A lot of viewers, at least for our channel over here, make sure to check it out if you're interested when altcoin season will start and some of our videos we're co covering also apollo currency which is all in one cryptocurrency uh, we're not sponsored by anyone and i told you in this channel we're not going to shill any of shit coins even so i got a lot of offers i declined everything i want to learn new much about crypto trading and everything and learning myself on that way also this cryptocurrency is insane so i want you to check it out they do have gold backed up coin gsx they do have quantum resistance blockchain which is uh, going to be validated very soon also they do have the sharding they had validation over here so you need to check out this video data sharding something that ethereum still cannot pull out they do have it they have most fastest blockchain in the world two seconds blockchain we tested that also on this channel they have some most private insane options in the wallet they are working with over 20 governments and countries in the africa and middle east and uh, soon on the pacific they're going to implement their technology they have government solutions they have a uh, national payment platform as you can see government systems over here uh, they are making the game that is going to pay you for playing it actually they are done uh, it's an in better version i i was in the better version earned over two thousand five hundred dollars so you need to check out these videos at cryptocurrency if you are looking for some sort of investment i just want you to be satisfied on this channel and to learn and at the end earn so thank you very much for watching as i ask you again please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and until the next episode happy trading and goodbye